This is a videotaped deposition of Mr. John Navas, taken by the defendant in the matter of the state of Arizona versus David Carr. This matter is being held in Peoria Municipal Court, County of Maricopa, State of Arizona, case number CR 2001-000552. Today is Friday, October 5th, 2001, at the time indicated on the video screen, 2.52 p.m. We are in the law offices of Lamb and Associates, 5050 North 8th Place, Phoenix, Arizona. The court reporter is Joanne Williams from the firm of Driver and Nick's Court Reporters, 645 East Missouri Avenue, Phoenix. My name is Bill Hoskins in association with Driver and Nick, <coughs> and I'm the video specialist. Counsel, please introduce yourself, starting with counsel for the uh, defendant. Jason Lamb, on behalf of David Carr, Mr. Carr is present in the room. Uh, along with Ginny Carr. And Greg Shaw Williams, the prosecutor specially assigned on this Peoria case. The court reporter will swear in the witness. Objection, state objects. Okay. The record should reflect that at approximately 2.15, both counsel had a telephonic conference uh, with a Peoria Municipal Court judge uh, concerning the issue of this being a sworn deposition. Uh, the court's uh, inclination was that uh, this would be an unsworn proceeding as there has been no showing of unavailability uh, pursuant to rule of criminal procedure 15.3. Uh, that was over the defense uh, objection and counsel can uh, state if that's an accurate recitation of the events that transpired. Yeah, the state agrees. Well, I think we've had a rule. We've had a ruling, and I think we're clear on that. Okay. This is an interview. Okay, Mr. Carr again uh, objects for the record, uh, <coughs> as this is not a sworn deposition. Okay, officer, uh, why don't you give us your full name? Give us some uh, real quick background on your law enforcement history. Uh, my name is John Nerboss. I've been with Peoria Police Department for about two years. Okay. Prior law enforcement experience? No. Okay. And just so the record's clear, we were supposed to start at 2.15, not impugning you personally. Uh, any, for the record, any reason why would it get started on time? A well, late briefing and traffic conditions with about an hour drive. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, we're here concerning my client, David Carr. When did you first acquire any uh, personal or secondhand knowledge of Mr. Carr and how so? Um, the first time I had any contact with Mr. Carr, I don't recall the exact date, but he uh, called and reported a domestic violence situation at uh, a rental property in Peoria. Can you describe the circumstances of your involvement of that in your an interaction with Mr. Carr, if any? No, I can't right now. It's been a long time now. I have a report on it. Do you remember the name of any of the parties present besides Mr. Carr? No, I don't. Did you author any type of report in that incident that referenced Mr. Carr in any way? Uh, I don't recall. Okay. Do you remember having any specific conversation with Mr. Carr uh, in the course of that conversation? At this time, no, I don't. Based on that meeting, did you have any subsequent uh, conversation with any parties uh, of which Mr. Carr was a subject? Let me rephrase that. That was really badly phrased. Um, as a result of that incident, did you later talk to anyone and was Mr. Carr mentioned in any of those conversations? Um, I believe I was out at the same address uh, on a second occasion several days after that um, uh, regarding a landlord-tenant dispute. But I don't remember the specifics of it. Could I ask a question? The initial contact, did you say, was domestic violence at a rental property? Is that what I heard? Yes, sir. Okay. And was Mr. Carr an owner of that property? I don't know if he was an owner of the property or not. Okay. Um, and in those later conversations when you came back uh, for an additional follow-up call, um, did you indicate that Mr. Carr uh, was a uh, subject of the conversation? 
I can't say yes or no because it was, like I said, it's probably been about a year, if not longer, and there's no report taken on it. Um, I really don't know what the substance of the conversation was without. Uh, <coughs> okay. And that would have been back on 7 1 of 2000. And it's possible. I don't remember the exact date. Okay. If I showed you a copy of the report uh, with a reference to Mr. Carr, would that ref refresh your recollection uh, in any way? Yes, I'm sure it would. would have marked that as sure. Mark this as exhibit number one. It's already been submitted by the state to the file in this case. It should be marked as anything. Well, if I'm, if, if I'm going to show it to him, it's got to be marked. Let's just mark it for ID purposes. Yes. Um, the record yeah. should reflect this is Peoria DR number 00-006575. We'll just designate it as Exhibit 1 for purposes of the interview. Yeah. No, I don't need to see it. As you, as you review that report, officer, so the record's clear, uh, was Mr. Carr a suspect or in any way uh, accused of domestic violence in conjunction with that report? So the record's absolutely clear. No, he was not. Okay. The only reference to Mr. Carr that I see so far is that he was the landlord to the property on this uh, domestic violence case and that he had told the victim that he was going to call the police. Okay. Okay, do you know who the complaining, who actually uh, initiated police contact in that, in that uh, call? Who, who initiated police contact? Well, I initiated police contact when I contacted the victim. Okay, what caused you to contact the victim in that? Do you know who um, was Mr. Carr? I was dispatched by our dispatch. Do you know who called dispatch that triggered your response? I believe, as I stated before, it's Mr. Carr okay. for the report. Okay. Um, let me move on. Are you aware of any standing uh, trespass order uh, concerning Mr. Carr and City of Peoria property? Am I aware of any trespass order? Yes. No. Are you aware if Mr. Carr has been served a trespass order specifically prohibiting him uh, from entering Peoria City Hall and adjacent <coughs> uh, city property except under limited circumstances? I'm not aware of it. Okay. Have you ever heard of that secondhand or thirdhand from anyone? I, I don't know. Questions this is asked and answered. Okay. Are you aware of Mr. Carr's appearance before the Peoria City Council in September? Um, November of 2000. No, I don't normally make it a practice to keep up on Mr. Carr's activities. <laughs> okay. Did anyone make you aware that Mr. Carr had addressed the Peoria City Council concerning police conduct? No. Okay. Um, officer, have you ever been uh, disciplined on grounds of moral turpitude within your police career? No. Objection. Okay. All right. All, All right. right. Well, the question was answered. No. <laughs> okay. Um, rather than get further into that area, um, based on your objection, I'll just preserve that line of questioning for later inquiry. Okay, further litigation if it comes to it. Yeah, I, I think it's deemed preserved at this point.